So I don't know what happened. I just hit the stop button, I guess. But I was talking about um, channeling hymns, old hymns, and my grandpa using that to to speak to me um, and give me advice. And the old rugged cross came, and then I was thinking with the red, like the blood. Red is the you know the color of the blood that was shed, and salvation has been something I have been channeling lately and um, serious talk like we are in the tribulation years we are in the days of judgment and I don't know what you believe in and to be honest like I love you and I care for you and I'm not gonna have individual um, like spats with anyone but I know what I know what I know I know so it's kind of like one of those things so um, always wishing you love and light, but, um, some of you are just going to be left behind because you just refuse to do the work. You refuse to go within and you're so obsessed. Okay, spirit, we're going here. Um, you're so obsessed with what everything else that's going on around with other people and other things. And, and God's like, get out of your own way. Like, you are preventing yourself from seeing the kingdom of God. And I'm just going to say it like your um, the kingdom of heaven is on earth and it is showing up. And a lot of you aren't seeing it because you are left behind. You're stuck in your ways and you're not doing the work. And all you have to do to awaken is go within and own own yourself, like own your mistakes, own your, the karma. Um, it's, it's a, it's based on your heart and your motives, like, and this is red. So, um, it's based on your heart and your motives and where you've been. Um, that's an individual thing. Again, I've talked about that. And you know that if you've been brought up in the church, um, that it's a relationship. It's not a religion. Um, and you don't stand before God in the end and you say, oh, well, I went to church. Um, I'm a good person. I love Jesus. Yeah, that's that could be true. But you know what? You can sit the whole day in a garage and it ain't going to make you a car. Right? You can sit your whole life in church, watching the pastor, learning, singing, whatever, worshiping, in, commu in a community. But it is not going to save you. It's not going to make you a Christian. And even Christian is, is just an, a, a religious title. Again, it's, it's not of, it is, okay, how do I say this, spirit? Okay, God gave spirituality and humans made religions. We're the ones that brought all that on ourselves, right? God made it simple. Love him and love others. And spread the gospel. That's it. I love that there's three dots. You can see the... It's changing again. You see the lights as I'm talking? Because you know what? This is Spirit's confirmation. Like, there's the Trinity, right? And you might not be seeing it. I don't care. Again, I don't care. Because... Just like Isaiah, when he was sent um, as a prophet to the world, and God's like, oh, I need you to go into, into these churches, and I need you to, to tell them all this stuff, all these visions and stuff you're having. And, um, and he was giving him, like, he was having major visuals of, like, the throne room, of being in the throne room of God, and um, all the colors that he was seeing, and... I've been able to experience these myself, and it's, it's almost, I can't even explain to you um, how breathtakingly beautiful, um, and look, you can see again, it's changing, um, the colors and some of the things I've seen in the 5D, which is the spiritual realm, but it's like when God called him to do that, when that was put on his spirit to go in the churches and do this. He said to them, they will not know what you're talking about <laughs> when you go and you start preaching this or teaching this. Um, they're not going to have the ears to hear. 
the eyes to see, or the mind to know, but go anyways. And you know what Isaiah did? He did. Do you know what the other prophets did? They went. Because when God tells you to go do something, let me tell you, you gotta do it. And I was put in a similar situation. Um, a lot of people didn't understand. Oh, look at all the... I love that. It looks like a sunburst. Um, a lot of people didn't understand <clears throat> what I was doing, but you know what? It's In the end, it's not, it, it's not between me and them. It's between me and God. And I was listening to the shepherd's voice, and in the same time, I save a, I've helped pull a lot of people, whether they realize it or not, I've helped awaken a lot of people to divinity, and um, which hopefully once they've done the work that they can they can align and <clears throat> arise I just heard that word too arise this gown is actually absolutely gorgeous I should show you it um, but it's hidden by my robes <laughs> it's a little long um, so I have to figure that that business out but there's going to be some celebrating here soon. Don't you feel the magic? I can see the magic floating in the air. Being with you gets me that way. I watch the sun that dance across your face. And I've never been this swept away. All the thoughts just seem to set along the breeze As I'm lying wrapped up in your arms Only the whole, the only thing I hear Is the beating of your heart There we go with the heart again. There's a lot to do with the heart and usually the heart chakra is, the heart chakra is green. But God is like speaking, um, I might have to have sang red light special tonight. I just heard that. Um, sexy time. Maybe some of you just have to let your sexy out. Um, I've been, uh, shamed for that too. But let me tell you how long I've kept that trapped. Um, that's like been a caged animal. Shamed. Oh my gosh, I've been shamed my entire life for my sexiness. And then I realized I was Marilyn Monroe. And then I was like, okay, this is all making sense now. Um, why I've had to kind of go through that and why people have wanted me to be hidden. And um, Yeah, it's just, just not, it's just not okay. And I'm glad that God dealt with me and set some of that stuff straight. Because I just pretty much had to do me and again like when you're called to do something if you don't do it spirit will pull you um from situations and use you anyways because if you think about it what if people that have had major influences in this world and I'm not just talking um people in bible times but I'm talking about even that have in major influencers of this world if they did not step up to do what they did and the ways that they helped where would we be oh i just heard that song where will you be if you're not here with me where would you go if you were single and free who would you laugh would it be me where would you be? I think that's Martina McBride. Man, I'm getting some song downloads for tonight. Um, maybe some of you need to ask yourself that. Maybe you've never asked yourself that. Who am I? What do I want to do? Where do I feel called? Am I feeling stuck? Stagnant? I mean, we're in Mercury retrograde here. And... You know, I'm thinking Mercury and lava. Um, like the red, yeah, Mars is a red planet, but I don't know why, but I just got like a 
picture of lava, which might not have anything to do with Mercury, whatever, right? <laughs> but maybe some of you are, yeah, are being called to different things yourself. And me taking this leap, especially from such a toxic religious community, I'm just going to say it how it is, um, me taking that leap freed myself. And I had a major rebirth. Um, that's why I had, they call it a glow up, right? And the ones that have talked, slandered my name, the ones that have crucified me, basically, the ones that have gossiped about me, the ones that have, um, oh, I don't even know, sent the mean texts, um, hey, you guys, I've had it so much thrown at me. And it's not just hate. It got to the point where it was so toxic that there were times I feared my life. And it's legit. And I know that um, some of the people that have been sent by these entities, I'm not even going to call them humans at this point because they have a lot of work to do. But um, they're, getting, they're getting their karma back. You know, because what we reap is what we sow. And I would never wish bad on anyone. I have a hard time um, killing a good bug. There are bad bugs. But I will kill a good bug. I will not kill a good bug. If I find a ladybug in the house, I'm going to take the ladybug and I'm going to let it go. Um, I've done that. But what I'm saying is that I had no problem cutting the negativity out of my life. And when I did that, when I got out of that, um, that's where I grew my wings. That's where I got stronger. That's where I got younger. It's where I got, um, vibrant is what I just heard. Also, I became a clear channel to be able to hear from God and spirit because it really was the only person I had to rely on because I didn't trust many people around me. There was no reason to. And God kept telling me, mm -mm, don't trust that. They're not, they're not going to understand. You can talk to them till you're Tell you're blue in the face and they will not understand you but trust me my child you have your crown from your ash I'm giving you a crown for your ashes and I will use you in a very powerful way so it, this just like everything I feel like um, Again, in the area that I grew up in, and I know some of you are watching this that are from that, and I really do hope that you take this in a good way, as in that you can you can change if you're in those patterns of um, feeling like you're stuck, or if you're here to cheer me on. And the ones that have been supportive behind the scenes or in front of the scenes, I'm I'm um, I'm grateful because you you and you will be blessed, and I am sending you a blessing right now because I have been chosen, adopted, and empowered by the Spirit to be able to do that. So um, I am sending you that. And the ones that did come against me, yeah, you should be scared because you are going to face your karma. And um, I don't know what that's going to look like. And um, I'm not going to be sitting here with my popcorn cheering you on as in like, oh, I'm so glad you're getting what you did like to me. No, I'm not at revenge. I'm not a, one of revenge. Um, but I'm still going to live my life and, and probably, most likely, yes, I am. I'm being told in a very public way. So um, so when you see me on stage and you see me in, um, on platforms and I pop up on your electronics a lot or your radio or whatever, um, I hope that it's a reminder for you to go after your dreams and to go after what you're being called for, called to. Because a lot of us are just stuck and we're missing out on all the blessings in our in our true divine happiness because heaven on earth is here it is here and you can choose to live it um now or you can choose and be separated because right now is judgment it is the choice and um if you're left behind you will literally be separated from those blessings because what you give is what you receive so if you're stuck in those jealous, shame, um, manipulative, wanting to wish the worst on someone, wanting someone to downfall, wanting someone to gravel back at your feet, like, mm, sorry, 
but you are in a uh, negative, negative, want, want, want. I just heard low vibe and you are separated. So again, this might be a cry out. I know that in the end times, God said he's going to send angels to help awaken people, to help, um, to be the trumpet sound, to, um, like the final warning. And I do feel like I am sent in that way to help, uh, individuals to awaken to that, um, that path that you can do this. It might be hard because you might have to leave situations that you never thought you'd ever leave. And it's scary. Oh my gosh, it's scary, you guys. Because anytime you actually live out trust and faith, uh, yeah, it is scary. But the blessings that come in, the way that God provides in those times, it's, it's beautiful. And like I said, I walked this path alone most of the time as far as human contact. Um, but I will tell you, I definitely will remember the ones that were there for me. Uh, but you don't have to because I'm here to help guide you. And I see that, see that really bright light on the, I'm looking at the one that's right on the dress and I'm pointing at it, but you can't see that because my finger's on the other side of the camera. <laughs> but anyways, it's like a searchlight. I'm getting a searchlight. I'm getting, um, a lighthouse. I'm getting the sunshine. Some of you just need to look at the light like the truth is literally in front of your faces but you are stuck in patterns of again of um toxic belief patterns uh the ways that you've been brought up are not correct they're not oh i had to find that out the hard way and i was literally vomiting it out um trying to fight it but it's so not true. And so what God is doing is he's bringing the new earth, which is um, Gaia. And it's going to make th all things right again. Yeah, things have to fall apart. But as soon as they fall apart, they come back together, right? So things are going to get weird. Um, weirder. Especially if you're not spiritually awakened. Um, there's going to be sudden shifts in the world that will happen and and you'll be confused and you'll really be looking at my videos like holy crap this girl was right um again the the other side the other forces want to stop me from shining my light because um it stops everything from going forward but i refuse because i am one I am living in heaven. I am living in unconditional love. And heaven is a state of mind. Happiness is a state of mind. And that's where I, that's where I live. I don't have to worry about what I'm going to wear. I don't have to worry about the food I'm going to eat. I don't have to worry about where I'm going to stay because it's always provided. And I know some of you have asked me how I do this. You know what? God provides. <laughs> but you got to take the leap. And he continues to open doors. He continues to provide for me. And I continue to come before him with a grateful heart, open to receive whatever it is he wants to give me. And right now he is showering me with sunshine. Hmm. Fire. I have this, like, fire that follows me, this passion this but I can't contain it anymore like it's, it's, bleh. it's like it's bursting out of me because I want to catch you on fire um there's another song that's coming want to catch the world on fire make it shine bright for you everything that you desire I want to be the one you use. I love that song. Um. Oh, man. I just love you. I just do. And I mean that with all my heart, with all my soul, with all my mind, with all my strength. 
I do. I have nothing but love for everyone. Even if you come at me with shade, I don't care. Because guess what? I'm going to turn. I do. Transmute that. I turn that into sunshine. But you have to do the work, and it's individual. And the only way you are allowed back in my life, in my space, is if you come at me with unconditional love. Okay? That's the only way you will be a part of this chapter, this book, this magical book that's opening before me. I really want you to be in this. I had to leave everything behind. But now my crown is here and I picked that thing up and I'm wearing it. But it's more of a crown chakra, which is the top of your head. If you wanna look up chakras, Start meditating. Start going within. Stop going outside for all your advice. Okay? You can't rely on other people, especially nowadays. Let me tell you, there's a lot of false information. I don't even want you to take what I'm saying to truth unless it's hitting you. If it's hitting you right now, then you're, you are awakening and welcome to your wild roller coaster ride. But um, I want you to receive messages yourself from spirit but you can't until you get to that point where you your ego's out of the way and you surrender your life your path to god to source to everything's energy right we are just in a vessel just like last lifetime when i was in maryland right and I don't care if you don't believe in re reincarnation. Um, I was definitely awoken to the fact that I've had many lives. Many, many, many lives. And not only that, my daughter, which my kids will be returning back to me because they were taken from me. Um, they, She is actually an older soul than I am. And I've always said that since the day that that child was born. And many of you that know Ashlyn know this. That girl, from the time she was born, four days old, she was sleeping through the night. She was considered my rainbow baby because she came after, um, after a couple losses that I had. But that girl... She has been such a huge help on my journey. <laughs> and people looked at her like she was crazy. Like, how can you be okay with your mom leaving? How can you be? And you people, some of you people, and I am going to call you out because God's calling you out right now, I'm hearing. Okay. <laughs> you blocked that path. You put thoughts into her head that were not okay. But it's okay because God is the God. Of, he is a deliverer. He is amazing. And I, can you see the rainbow on the wall? Yeah, because it's his promise. And how, Do how Dorothy and the rainbow, that's just so significant. Um, my kids are coming back to me. Well, they will. Because they're going forward. Because me saving me saved them. A lot of people couldn't understand it at the time, but that's exactly what was happening. And... Ashlyn has been connected to me ever since. Spiritually, her and I are one, and we connect all the time. And she has given me some incredible advice. And one of the songs that she actually wrote and sings herself um, is, Shine the light super bright into the future, to our future, to my future. So shine the light super bright into the future to our future to my future it's exactly that rainbow is confirmation oh god you are so good you are so good to those that are faithful and true even in times of uncertainty times that you want to give up you don't because you keep going forward don't look to the past let the past bury itself. 
Let those people that have come against you show their true faces. Let the masks fall out. In Jesus' name, let the masks fall out. Now I'm getting all preachy. Let everything done in the dark be brought to light. Amen. Let the BS be shown. That's one thing in, my, in the first part of my journey that I heard from Spirit was, you got to cut through the BS. And I'm trying to keep this. Um, I'm not going to be cussing on videos because I really want these to be seen by kids even though swear words are such a joke we make those up it's all about where your um again where your heart is where your motives are the things behind it it's not like god's like oh oop, they dropped an f-bomb no he doesn't understand that the only thing he understands or he sees is the way that you treat that person and he already knows because he knows your heart he knows your soul he knows where you're at i'm just shaking his head most of the time most of the time god isn't even in those churches Preach it. Preach it, God. A lot of your churches, God isn't even in it. Because your egos are so far in the way. Your hearts are not right. He's like, I don't want anything to do with that. I can't, I can't get through that. So some of you that think that you're getting woke up in the middle of the night. Oh, I'm in a panic because, oh my gosh, Rochelle is worshiping the devil. Oh my. Oh. I have a cousin that is absolutely freaking nuts. She has been such an entity that has come against me and I really hope she is watching this because she needs to wake the heck up. She has caused nothing but strife. She has been a negative force in my entire life she has kept me from a lot of my blessings because of jealousy shame wanting me to feel guilty wanting me to come back with my tail between my legs are you freaking kidding me uh-uh glad i didn't listen to you thanks for trying to change a whole community against me too i'm well aware of your tactics well aware and i forgive you for your vessel knows not what you're doing. But your soul ain't right, girl. Your soul ain't right, and I'm calling you out. Don't contact me. You're not part of this chapter. You won't be. Whoo, okay. Spirit came out of me. Sometimes, you know, just like a double-edged sword, like a sword, it comes out of you. You can have all the biblical knowledge you want. You guys, that does not make you. It does not. Oh. Yeah. I don't even know how to. I don't. I can't even. It's like speaking butterfly language to caterpillars. I can't. Because you just. Again, you just don't. You just don't know. And the only thing I can do is, like Ashlyn says, only thing I can do is shine a light. I'm leading the way. I'm like a star. In the sky, I'm a star seed. I've been here many generations, or many past lives. You can even look up star seeds if you want to, light workers. I'm a divine being, I'm a healer. Um, there's a lot of us that are, we just don't know it until we do the work and then we realize who we are. And I can tell right now, actually, as you look around, you'll be able to tell the ones that are really stuck because they'll start looking older, they, will, they won't be feeling very good. Um, a lot of diseases. I mean, just like in the end times and revelations and it talks about all the stuff that's happening, right? So in the end times, there's going to be fandom. There's going to be diseases. There's going to be um, worldly things that happen, um, things in the environment. But one thing for sure is God is separating the sheep from the goats and that's the, the spiritual from the unspiritual. But it has nothing to do with the devil. And that's another thing I really want to put the kibosh on is that everything is an energy and we all have a dark and a light energy. We all have an angel and a devil. We just name them those, but energy, right? It's how you choose to use that. And the ones again that have tr that are coming against you, maybe you're you are awakening and you're realizing, oh, 
gosh, I always thought that these family members or these friends had my back, but now I'm realizing that they're holding a knife. <laughs> yep, been there. It's been there. You know what you do with that knife? You turn around and cut that cord because no one, no one, no one should have control over you and your life. No one. Like I had said before, me saving, God saving me, me saving myself, has saved my kids, have saved generations, have saved a, a whole bloodline and preach it, preach it spirit because the red just stuck out again and now we got white. Do you see how it went from we were looking at red and now the sun, I know that it's positioned differently, but look at, look at the significance of that because now we have purity, right? We have a pure light and it almost looks like the shape of a butterfly if you look at it. This is how spirit talks. As many of you, you just... If you're awakening, you know, you're, you're starting to maybe see this a little bit. I know I'm ahead in that way because I am I am here as a teacher, light worker, haha, as I'm looking at light. And I know that I've talked for way long now, but I just really need to get this message across because it needs to be, it needs to be said. It needs to be said. Go within, 